Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part five of my WordPress featured content tutorial, where I'll teach you how to make a super nice featured content tool inside of WordPress. This is a continuation of both that tutorial as well as my news theme tutorial, which I've been working on. And here, what we're going to do is actually create this meta box that you see right here on the screen where it says set image, and it's going to allow people to choose whatever featured picture they'd like to assign to any post they make inside of WordPress. And if we zoom out here, you can see where I'm able to click on the media library and come in here and select files and pick files from the media library and all kinds of other different things. So pretty neat stuff. So let's jump into the code. Okay. If you didn't see my previous tutorial on how to create plugins, definitely check that out. I provide a link to that now. And here is just basically where you describe the plugin name, the URL associated with this plugin, description, versions, author's name, websites, and your license. And then after you put all that in and you save that, you can actually jump right in WordPress. So if we come down into plugins, just that little tiny bit of information, we go into plugins, you're going to be able to see that right here, NTT featured content. It's not activated right now, but it's showing you all this information. The plugin has been created in essence. It just doesn't have any functionality. So let's give it some functionality. So we're going to open up the PHP part and we're going to tell WordPress what function to run whenever a plugin is activated. And how you do that is you type in register, activation, hook, and then I'm going to do underline, underline file. This is a reference to the plugin. So whenever this plugin right here is activated, I'm going to define a function that I want to be called. And it's going to be called NTT for new think tank. And the reason I'm using that is to make sure that this function doesn't have any problems with any other function. So that's why I give it a big giant name. And then I have to create the function itself. I'm just going to copy this, paste that in there. Doesn't get any attributes. Then what I'm going to do is verify that the current WordPress version is at least version 3. How you do that is go if version compare, call this function, and then we call git blog info. This is the function you call whenever you want to find out what version of WordPress is being used. And then we're going to say 3.0, and we're going to ask if it is greater than that. And if it is not, we're going to deactivate the plugin immediately. And how you do that is just by typing in this function, deactivate plugins. And again, reference underline underline file, underline underline, right like that. So that's what that function does. And if we don't hit that, well, that means that they have at least version 3. So I'm going to create a variable that's going to store the number of featured posts that I have. I'm going to call that NTT featured images. And for now, I'm going to create an array that's going to contain a bunch of variables. And inside of this array, I'm going to put number feature posts. So that's going to allow me to track how many featured posts there are. And I'm going to set that as zero. And then I'm going to close off that function. And then to save the changes to that newly created array, I'm going to call update option. And I'm just going to give it this guy right here and this right here. Okay, so that is all that I need to do to activate my plugin at this point in time. And I'm going to close off PHP because it's generally the way that it's done inside of WordPress and then open it up again and make sure you don't want to have any white space after this or before it. That's very important because that'll trigger errors. And now I'm going to also call another function if this plugin has been deactivated and it's just register deactivated hook. Again, this is a reference to the actual plugin. And then this is the function that's going to be called if it is deactivated. So then what do I got to do? I got to create this function again. And you have to do this for all your different plugins. Paste that in there. And for now, I'm just going to leave this empty. I'm not going to put anything in there. That's, of course, going to change very soon. Now let's scroll this up, and then I'm going to open up PHP again. And here I'm going to create the meta box. That's the box that was on the WordPress screen that I showed you before. And you just call add action. I'm going to hook this on to the hook, add. So whenever WordPress is prepared to put meta boxes on the editing page, I'm going to tell it to call this function whenever it does that. And then guess what I got to do? I got to create this guy. Function, paste that in there, close that function off. And here I'm going to create the meta box. This is how easy it is to do. Give it a name. Set image is going to be the title for that meta box. If we open this up, see? Set image is right there. Then you define the function that is actually going to create the meta box. And then do you want this meta box to show up on posts or pages? I'm going to put it as post. Then you have to define where you want the meta box to be displayed, either normal, which is where I have it, or to the side 
which is actually a new option that's available. And then you set the priority. And in this situation, I'm going to set it to high. You could also set it to low. And then after this, you could define additional arguments that you want to send to this function right here. But I have no reason to do that for right now. But I do need to create this function right here. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to close off PHP, reopen PHP function right like that and whenever this is called it's going to pass over the post that was affected the ID for that post so we're going to be able to go in there and make changes first thing I want to do is echo into the meta box a message which I'm actually just going to grab here rather than type it because it's not really that important so there you go there's just some text that's going to be printed into the meta box then I'm going to check if the meta value has already been assigned for this featured image NTT MBE and I got some of this code from an absolutely fabulous book called Professional WordPress Plugin Development. This isn't a sponsor or anything. I just wanted to state that I got the code from this awesome book because I just think that's the right thing to do. Then we're going to say, okay, for the post ID, is there a value set for NTT MBE image? So that's going to return to me this image value right here. Close off the PHP right there. So now I'm going to create the input field for the featured image. So I'm just going to go input, give it an ID equal to NTT MBE image type is equal to text size. That's just the length of the field is going to be 75. And the name is going to be equal to NTT MBE image and the value for it. I have to open up PHP to get that. We call echo and escape URL, which is going to sanitize the URL and encode any HTML entities inside of it. So it's just cleaning it up. That's all it's doing. Don't forget to put equal sign in there for size. And then I'm just going to call for this image, close off the PHP, and then close off the input and close off the quote. Then I have to actually create the button that they're going to click on whenever they want this guy to save. It's of type button. Value is equal to the library image. Class is equal to button secondary because that's the way it's defined. And then throw in a break statement. And then remember no white space whenever you put this PHP in here. And then we're going to close off the end of this function and then to keep everything the same I'm gonna put that inside of there and scroll this up then I want to add another hook here so that whenever the post is saved save post I want NTT MBE image save meta I want this function to be called so what do I have to do I have to create that function and I want to pass to it the post ID then I want to check if an image has been defined inside of the post, a featured image, and make a call to NTT MBE. And there's a link to all this code in the underbar. Then I need to update the value of the image, the featured content image, and you call update post meta to do that. Pass post ID and underscore NTT MBE, the name for your image. And then I'm going to call escape URL. Again, this just sanitizes everything. The only difference between escape URL and raw is that escape URL raw does not encode HTML entities. So you don't have to worry about decoding that. NTT MBE underscore image. And then we're going to close off that if statement. And then jump down here and close off the PHP code. And let's create another PHP code block. Scroll that up. And here what we're going to do is say that whenever the post editor is called, this is it. This is the post editing. Whenever this is displayed on the screen, I want certain functions to be called. And how you do that is again, add action. And then what we want to say is whenever this function right here, admin, print, scripts, post, these aren't underlines, these are straight dashes, dot PHP. Whenever this function is called, we want another function to be triggered, which is NTT underscore MBE. And this is the reason why I needed this code from that book, by the way. I'm going to actually copy this, put this on a new line, paste this in here. And at the end of this, I'm going to type in new. So whenever either one of those functions is called, this function right here is going to be called by WordPress. So what do I got to do? Create this real quick function. And what this is going to do is call some custom JavaScript. Anytime you want to call JavaScript inside of WordPress from outside, like in a plugin, for example, this is the function that you call. And this is the name for the custom script. If I want to call it in the future. And I want to call my actual plugin. And how you do that is with plugin URL, followed by, and then forward slash. So this is a reference to the actual plugins folder inside of WordPress. NTT meta image.js. 
This is the actual JavaScript code that I want to put in here. And then after this, if you need any other scripts to be run before this is run, like for example, jQuery, you plug that in there and it automatically will pull in all the code needed to load jQuery and the script for uploading media and also Thickbox, which is just the pop-up window that is going to contain all the media that's uploaded. This guy right here. And you click on this. What I'm doing is creating this guy right here. And thick box surrounds everything. So that's what's going on there. And then the function's closed off. And then I close off my PHP. And that is all that's needed to create what I showed you here at the very beginning of this tutorial. And now we're going to create all the JavaScript that's needed. This is how you start off basic jQuery function. Form field is equal to null. We're just going to create a variable here. And then I'm going to target with jQuery an ID with the name of upload image button. And I'm gonna say if it's been clicked, I wanna run some code. And I'm just gonna put this function in line right here. And I'm gonna target HTML. And I'm gonna add a class name of image. And then to form field, I'm gonna go get the value of the attribute name for the featured image. And hash symbol is a reference to ID. If it was a dot, that would be a reference to a class. So I'm gonna say I want the name for that featured image. I'm going to save it to form field. Then I'm going to call thick box to display the pop-up. And I'm not giving it a name. And I'm going to call a function inside of WordPress called media upload.php. And this is going to display the featured content that I showed you before. And it's going to be displayed in an iframe. And then return false. And then I close off that function. And then what I need to do is whenever the person comes in here to the media library image and clicks on it, and let's say they click on media library show, and then here where it says insert into post, well, if they clicked on this, this would try to insert this image into the post, which is not at all what we want to do. We just want to be able to use this tool to be able to populate this box right here so we can define the featured image. So what we need to do is to shut down that functionality. And how we can do that is go window, original, send, to editor. We're going to override the send to editor function that will try to insert that image into the post and instead tell it to call our function instead which is going to insert it into that box. And then we're going to take this value right here and assign it this function HTML create a variable inside this function called file URL and we need to check if the image has a name attribute assigned to it. And we go if form field is not null, assigned to file URL, image, HTML, dot, the attribute for source, so we're getting the source for this image, or the location of it, and be image, which is the name of the featured content, and we're saying we want the value, file, URL, we're just assigning the value for this image to the URL that we took from right there, and then we want to remove the pop-up. So this is after they click on it and they say, okay, I want to upload it. What we're doing here is taking whatever value they put into the text box, we're assigning it to that image, and then we're closing the pop-up afterwards. And then we're going to straighten everything up and make it the way it was before anything else was done here. So we're going to remove the class that we assigned to HTML being image. And it's set form field back to null. And then if it didn't have a value, we want to reset window original, send to editor back to the way that it was. Close off that else statement, close off that function that we created there, and then close off the jQuery altogether. And that is all the code that goes into creating that meta box. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna move on to create more functionality for this featured content tool for WordPress until everything's done. Till next time.